Hi there, it's Sam from Poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you very much for joining me in this extra bonus video for Poodles Advent Countdown. Advent is 24 days counting down to Christmas Eve for me, but I decided, well actually I have done every year so it's probably no surprise, but I'd like to do a 25th one. So this is what I'm calling my last minute make. So this is the one that you're going to do. It's literally a few days before Christmas now. You've maybe got some scraps of paper. You might have some kiddies coming over to the house and you want to do a quick tree treat for them. This is, I'm calling this my hanging hat bag. So it hangs off the tree. It's really sweet. It's using a piece of six by six and it's got a little hat on it. It's just so cute. So how do you make it? This is the warmth and sheer paper. These patterns, actually, I haven't really used this year. So I'm using them now. Nothing like the last minute. Six by six inches, 15 and a quarter by 15 and a quarter centimetres. So you don't have to trim yours down if you're a metric person. And then we're going to score it at one and three eighths, two and three quarters, four and one eighth, and five and a half inches, which in metric, three and a half, seven, ten and a half and fourteen. Whiz it round, score it at one and three eighths of an inch, which is three and a half centimetres. Such a quick and easy project literally is that that one that you do it's a few it's a few days before christmas you suddenly realize that your cousin's coming to visit with her four children that was not me she's going to come over with her five children and visit and you're like well i haven't got anything for them so you quickly whiz up a couple of these bags pop some sweeties in it children will love you the cousin will think you're a remarkable host who is very very organized and yeah job done or you could actually make them in advance, hang them on the tree and put maybe little expensive gifts in for your members of the family who you know are coming. So I've burnished all my score lines. I'm going to trim up now. This is the little skinny, little skinny guy. Won't be skinny over Christmas. And trim that one away and then cut up the four, no, the three score lines that are next to it. So that's what you're going for. Cut away a little bit. And these are all loose. Run some adhesive down the side. And that's the back. So we're going to fold in two sides and the back. And depending on how heavy it is, you might want to put glue on all parts. But glue on that part that's going to be the front. Pop your sweeties, treats or goodies inside. And then pinch here and use your fingers down the side so we've made that shape rotate it and do it again and that is how you get that lovely sort of star shape okay handheld punch i had it i've got it it's still here so let me find the front so there's the front so i'm just going to fold it essentially in half at the top so i can punch through everything all in one go Go. Cherry cobbler baker's twine. This comes, this comes as a trio with gold and with green, and I love it. So I'm going to feed it through. This is quite thin actually, and if you're making it as a tree decoration, let's check. I've got the front. Yes, I have. What you can do, if you don't mind it being shredded. I mean, literally, if it's just. You know, if it's for gift purposes for small children, they, they're not going to take notice of the fact that you've made it yourself. Um, tie it in a knot, which is what I've done with mine. Um, my boys are just brutal to gifts I make. They just want to get into them the fastest way possible. They're not worried about the decor, or the wrapping and the decoration, rather. Um, so tie it like that, and that gives you a couple of long ends, which you tie off. And that's what you hang it on the tree with, that bit there. So, now, just to finish off, I did have a piece of crumb cake, but I just put it away. Uh, um, so I'm now going to have to work with a really big piece of... Oh, no, that's, that's quite small. That's not even crumb cake. I put my piece of crumb cake away that I had very carefully for this. So I'm going to work on a really big bit. Okay, jolly friends. Really cute. I love this. I love this set. This little one here, up here on a block. What shape block have I got? What size block? That's a C block. Cherry cobbler ink. Right, here's the fun and games because this 
punches out at that angle. I did have fun with this when I was doing it the other day. Oh, I got it right first time. I ended up having to cut round the jolly hat to then punch it out. So there's the jolly hat. And I have got a piece of glitter paper for this little part here. So, let's put it all together. So, fine tip glue. Point it blue along this part and there. A little frosty trim there. I'll just hold that in place. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> and for the pom pom on the end. Move it about to so make sure you haven't glued it to your worktop, which is exactly what I did. While that's dry, we'll put the lid on. And grab the front of the box, which I've lost. There it is. A couple of dimensionals. Actually, I think probably just one on there. On there. And your little hat bag is done. Ready to go on the tree. What do you think? Last minute gifting. Perfect. Quick and easy to make. Just need a few scraps. Or a really big sheet of crumb cake. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas wherever you are, wherever you're doing, and however you celebrate this season. Um, I'm going to be at home with my family, with my boys and my husband. We're going to have a lovely, quiet Christmas at home. But whatever you're doing, have a wonderful time.